too much cold to whiskey. Like waves on the bay of Biscay. I began to tumble and roar. My face is red like a lobster. I fell and broke my poor knobster. My watch from my fob was picked, sir. I'll never get drunk anymore. Yeah. Hey, there's more. Uh, I'm resolved to try it. I'll live on a moderate diet. I'll not drink, but I'll deny it. In a You ain't no acorn cap. Why don't you sit, Arthur? You okay, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? <sighs> Our world's changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. <laughs> this there rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago. I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just... I'm realistic about what's coming. Keep thinking I should help for it, but... Ah... Uh, I don't know. Arthur... Oh, Arthur, you're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? <sighs> Ain't that the truth? Hey there. Morning, Arthur. I know you like a good cup of coffee. Nothing better. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Okay.
Morning, Arthur. Morning. Grimshaw keeping off your back? I wish. Well, just keep your head down. Okay. Could really use some good meat for this stew. This should be some real good eating. Sure, might as well make some money off it. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Give me some money. I just want to get a drink. I'm parched. Hey. Hello, mister. Hey, buddy. Hey, mister. Mister. I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother. I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. And you'll be sad. Like when your puppy passed. Cause you slept on it. What's your name, mister? They say in the office it's gonna be biggest it's ever been. Arthur. Arthur? <laughs> My uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him, on account of his name. It's a fine name, a strong name, like a king. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yes, you could. Happy to assist you in a moment. Liberty is worth every penny. Take care now. Excuse me, partner. Morning. Hey, mister. Well, howdy. 
Howdy. Hello. How you doing? I reckon I'm okay. That's the spirit. All the best. So long, man. Uh, hey there, oh, mister. How you doing? Help a blind man. Have this. Be warned, sir. Be warned. Surrounded by fields of burning fire and flesh, the devil will make his sacrifice. Well, okay then. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> I need to be alone with my thoughts now.
legs all numb. Please hurry. What happened? My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. Oh, yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved me. Okay. Oh, that was bad. Sure. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Boy. <laughs> there we go. I normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. Yeah. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Yeah. Well, just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. now just a little further you got some kind of problem what's going on here we're here thank you for all your help you're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Ma'am, will you be all right from here? I'll find my way. Thank you, sir. What the hell? You cracked in the head or something? Okay there.
Putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown, what you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. I can... Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. <laughs> Could have played that better, couldn't you? Look where you're going. Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So, what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type, by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. 
Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house? Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or... Wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling uh, uh, your, oh, Junior, what's your name, son? Robert Crawford III, sir. The, oh, pleasure to meet you. Both of you, uh, my name, my name is, now don't tell no one, because in New York, I'm kind of famous. I once performed on Broadway. Now that's not important or relevant. I have been saved. I have been found. Oh, no, I, I saw it in your eyes. You think I'm a nut? Do you think I'm a nut for proper the third? I ain't interested in no religious talk. I'm not a religious man. Respects them as has it, but I got something better. Way better than church. Uh, 
the water is generated with junipers. And what does the juniper do? Creates movement in the sky. With your whip, made with grain, there's the east. The leaves are fine brittle. It's the hobbling top. Think about it. I'll be around this way next. Done, Arthur? Yep. Covered my tracks so well, they won't even know I was in there. Good work. Let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Get on, dear boy. had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? 
Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Dumb boy. <laughs> you okay, boy? Arthur. Still reading? Better not be stealing the collection box again, Reverend. Steal? Steal? Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet. But Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! <clears throat> What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They... They got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Okay, boy. I rode as fast as I could, didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. 
Micah's got a crazy side offer. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Hey, friend. Have a nice evening. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. <laughs> Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot Mikey... of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. I'm bored with being left. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow, one of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> Where are you? You know which 
way my friend went? It's all right, I don't know. Hey, you see my friend anywhere? What do you know? You see that feller I was with? Don't ask me. Lady! Can't find my friend. You know where he went? Yeah, shut your mouth, mister. Stop slumping off on me! Lenny, what 
are you talking about? Lenny! Just go home, will you? Lenny! Lenny, where are you hiding now? Degenerates. Oh. There's a fine for drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I don't remember. Either you fools got any money, it's $10 and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. Now, I don't want to see either of you around here no more. Uh. <laughs> So, that was a quiet drink? The first one was pretty quiet. <laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty quiet. At least it took your mind off goddamn Mikey. Well, that's certainly true. I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna have a little sit down and feel sorry for myself. yourself a reputation around here. Got a lot of eyes on you, make no mistake. Howdy. New in town? Gum? Candies, tobacco, all the good stuff are on the shelves behind my counter. Tonics and medicines are on the table over there. Everything else, you should see the catalog. Now, let's see what you got.
I sold Bob Mattis some pills to help with his, uh, vigor. By the way, his woman's smiling. That's two happy customers. All right. Thank you. This should help. Don't reckon there's anything more I can do for Tommy. Just one. Thanks for your assistance. How do you do? time. You hear me? Hello, gentlemen. Nice morning, ain't it, mister? Y'all doing all right? Huh. All the best now. See you around. Sorry, you must be talking about someone else. Calm down. Enough of this horse shit. Just calm down. Welcome back, sir. Have a look around. It is in giving that we receive the true gifts of life that are eternal. <laughs> we give generously, for that is what this country needs to help each other. Some of the fellers who play poker down at Flatneck Station said they had some clergyman in, drunk out of his mind. Sure, I'm always willing to stack up. Thanks. What's this place coming to? Let's try and help each other. Morning, friend. It's not about survival of the fittest. Morning. Hi, uh, folks. Morning. Give them one of these ribs. Just watch them grow. Hard. Please be generous. Be generous. Help people. <laughs> Try to do what you can. <clears throat> oh, it's you. <clears throat> Hello, Hello, sir. Mister. Well, you're just full of charity, ain't you? <laughs> well, I'm just. Trying to help where I can, sir. Or interfere. <clears throat> you you would have killed that man. What I do is none of your damn business, okay? Okay, okay. <coughs> okay, sir. <coughs> <coughs> Please give money to the orphans. Remember... <coughs> Remember, it's better to give than to receive. <laughs> Let's make this country a brotherhood of man. So give what you can. We're in it together. We hey, can be one. Hornady. Morning. Hello, sir. Hello, welcome. Move your ass. Can I get a hot bath, please? <laughs> I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. 
How'd you like some help in here? Yeah, I think I'm okay. Thanks. Okay, maybe next time, hon. You know, the girls from the saloon stop through here. Thank you. Sorry to hear that. Hello there. You need something else? Look, I'm a regular at Smithfields. No problems for me. That barber, I think he's about to snap. Watch your neck. Excuse me, madam. Behind you. Oh, please, don't start up anything again. I couldn't take it. Just passing through. Don't want no problem. Mister. Near got sick drinking that shot. Gentlemen. No more trouble now, please. Hey, mister. How are you doing? Hey there. How'd you do? Hey there. Hello. Hey, you know if any Pinkertons have been seen around here? No, sorry. No problem. Thank you. See you around. Hi there, folks. How do you do? Uh, howdy. Everything okay? Uh-huh. Master. I 
What's gotten into your head? If I ain't mistaken, you're looking for a bounty. Look no further than that wall, son. Terror of Valentine. <laughs> that one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Oh, I got it. This bounty you're after, the lady, what's she do? Mrs. Swan? <laughs> Poor dear. Married the wrong man. She thought she could kill him and inherit a fortune. Instead, she got some debts and that bounty on her head. This lady murder. That kind of thing happened much around here? This is a cattle town. There's three men to every woman. And three women to every woman of the marrying kind. Certain type of lady is drawn to this place. Indeed. I'll go and introduce myself. Poster says alive. A L I V E. Okay, fella. Are you gonna blow up? Go on, get going. Calm Gosh. down. Well, glad to hear it. He's watching. He's always watching. He's never talking. They won't forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> Well, it isn't happening. No, 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 it isn't. <laughs> that's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here well away from them. See, they come for me, but I'm watching. Yeah. I, I never sleep. I never do. Move next time.
Whoa. Clearly, May, you think you're so great. Strutting around, nose in the air. Yep. Mister, I just want to be left alone, all right? You care about this girl? Stand up for yourself. She'll come around. Yeah? I've been waiting. I'll be rich. A nice big house. You'll be begging me to court you. Trust me, kid. There ain't so many good men out there. Make yourself one of the good ones. Thanks, mister. I hope you're right. saying you're a black widow. Well, I'm nothing of the kind. That means you killed your sweetheart. Where do they get such nonsense? That there's a bounty hunter. Get him! I guess I ought to come along with you then. <laughs> Don't like the rest. You are a piece of work. Now, come in. Rot in hell. Rot with the rest of them. I'm sorry, Ellie Ann. You go, go with him. God, I swear, Mister. I had nothing to do with this. I'm just caught up in it. If she's Trixie. Turn yourself in, Missy. Don't you manhandle me. Goodbye, my sweet. <laughs> Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. Oh, 
Oh dear. What came over me? Did I, did I just do those things? It's a, it's a horrible blur. But I see blood. There's blood everywhere. It won't come out. I'm not like that. I'm a good girl. R really. I promise I am. You believe me, don't you? Don't you miss me? I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. A fever of the brain. I, I, I've done bad things, but... A jail... A jail ain't where I belong. A sanatorium, maybe. Get me help, mister. Please? Save me. Save me from the sheriff. And moreover, from myself. situation but a big strong man like you you'd set me straight wouldn't you mister put me on the straight and narrow i hate you you sad sack of shit i wish i'd cut your belly open and shown you your cuts gutless bounty hunt nobody I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! Ah! I wish you'd die! Ah! Ah! Drag me into this. We're coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. I don't want nothing to do with any of this. Yeah. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I, I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. I met her new sweetheart up by the falls. Feather was lucky not to end up like her husband. If he was any kind of man, I wouldn't be here. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? Now, I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Well, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. So it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. It's silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? 
Just little old me. Let me out to exercise a little. I'm immune to your charms, Mrs. Swan. It's so boring in here. Can we have some fun, Sheriff? Just the two of us? And to think you were sniffing around this office at one point. I'm lucky you was charmed by another. You see, Sheriff, I know your secrets. And I could spread them all over. Like Miss Moria? Don't you dare mention Moira again. Now hush. <laughs> oh. Show me some sympathy, Sheriff. I'm a widow. A poor little widow. You forget? They can say what they like about you, but at least you respected the sanctity of marriage. Till death do us part. <laughs> Stay there, boy. What? <laughs> Old man Jones nearly killed his wife the other night. I knew that. Do you like an issue? Well, see you for the next one. Step right up, Valentine. Step right up. Good evening. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay.
Good evening, Arthur. So, we found the O'Driscoll's hideout, but no sign of comb. Well, so long as we're hitting them before they hit us. Oh, and that kid? He's all right now. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. What an awful day. Evening, Arthur. Always good to see you. as I used to be. It's been a tough couple of months. It's been a tough couple of years since I got sick. It's all been tough, you know. We're born with some dreams. We acquire others as we get older and we live out something else. I was... When I was younger, I wanted to be a priest. I did a priest. Didn't know you had to be a Catholic to be a priest. I guess I was always looking for a messiah. Funny what you find in this life. When I was a kid back east, they said there were dragons in the West. Dragons. We found them. Found them or made them or became them. All oh, these futile lives of petty sin we have lived. What choice did we have, really? Streets weren't paved with gold. There's poverty in Europe, there's poverty here. Only here, you can stick a gun to someone's head. Take what you want. <laughs> that was the only difference. 